say, but I'm the senior head instructor, and then I'll say, and then I'll do the rest of it. So, um, any questions about that? Any other etiquette questions before we begin? If you've just been wondering something about what's this thing you guys do? And, To advance and be our students? Yeah. A lot of syllables. I'm sorry. All right, let's begin with some deep breath and relaxation. <clears throat> Let the eyes close. Press gently with the hands. And feel the breath move in the low abdomen. Try to get that without forcing it. So keep the chest relaxed. Breathe in and just think directed to the low abdomen. Keep the abdomen relaxed. See if you can kind of catch it going there on its own. to imagine the cascade of relaxation that flows down the body, beginning at the top of the head, going all the way down to the bottoms of the feet. Let go of tension from the face, from the jaw, from the neck. Feel your upper back and chest relax. Relax the shoulders, relax the arms and the hands. Feel the palms soften. Relax in the stomach, in the lower back. Feel the waist and hips relax. Breathe in deeply, breathe out slowly. Thighs, backs of the legs. Feel both your knees soften. Relax the calves and around the shins. Feel the ankles relax and the feet relax. Next time you breathe out, just release, lower the hands, let them relax. Good. All right, separate the feet a shoulder width apart. Turn the toes in, outside edges parallel. Round through the body, as in round the knees out, sink down. Let the chest be concave. Let the shoulders and elbows lower. Racing horse is a great posture for improving your Tai Chi and really preparing to do Tai Chi. It has physical alignments within it that will help you with your Tai Chi, but it also has elements of the mental and sort of attitude way of being. So usually I talk about the physical alignment. I probably will again. But as you hold your posture, there's an idea of making small, deliberate adjustments consciously, and then feeling stillness with whatever you've adjusted. And if you're like me, the first attempts at stillness might be to hold with tension. So just constantly, not constantly, but repeatedly checking, is it relaxation? Two more minutes. And any 
problems. I say often if you're straining to be in the posture as it is, just come out of it. Let the body reset and just get right back in. Also true if you're just unable to find that relaxed, alert stillness. Sometimes it helps to just come out of it, get back in. Focus on the breath. Straighten the leg, lower the head. Circle the arms up, breathe in. Push palms down, breathe out. Very good. Okay, if you need to rearrange it all, we'll, um, I'll give you a chance to do that. Um, yeah, we're, we put this, did I talk a whole bunch about the stars in last class? We put these stars out as like an experiment for, mainly for the kids really, but if you want to use them for sort of spacing out, you can. Um, obviously this isn't a big enough class right now to really worry about that, but um, if you're wondering why there's a star, don't, don't be afraid of the stars. Okay. Let's start from the top and just review a little bit. Pull back and press. Push. Single whip. Strike with the shoulder. White crane spreads wings. Brush knee push. Well, we previewed playing guitar, but let's just leave like that for now. Oh. All right. Let's do a subset of that. Let's go from push position and do the moves after push. So starting from push position, you would take the shoulder width towards the office, turn out the left toes 45 degrees, and step your right foot straight forward, what we call double dragon's foot placement. Shift the weight forward to a small lunge. Actually, technically, that's double dragon's foot placement. And leg placement. Cool. And reviewing, we'll kind of stop and go here, so don't worry if you don't get the fluid yet. So shift. Turn to the left, turn the right toes in. Shift to the right, form the circle with the arms, right on top in the feet, 
and it feels real awkward for a moment. But then you turn to the left and release the left heel, and you've got your right hand just sort of in counterbalance. Step in with the left, step back. So watch out for being on the tightrope. See if you can get the shoulder width out there. Shift to the left, lift the left hand, turn to the left, and let the right hand just turn in, and hold right here. Step straight forward with the heel toe. Shift forward. Strike the shoulder. Sorry, I just got into it. I skipped part of it. And white crank spreads wings. Turn to the left. Keep the weight on the right. Turn to the right. Step up with the left. Follow the foot. Uh, check the weight in the left foot. Take it very light. Good. And then one more. This newish one. Brush knee push. Turn to the left. Right hand by left elbow. Turn to the right, left hand by right elbow. Sink down, step in, step out, heel toe, see if you can find that same double dragon split placement. Shift to the left, turn to the left, brush by the knee, push, hold one more time. push and do playing guitar. We, we previewed that, right? We didn't really get it though. Yeah, okay. So, one more chance to get into your double dragon split placement. And if you want to move around, um, don't feel stuck to your square. Like if you find yourself over over your shoulder, it's, it's, it's not, you're not married to it once we've out. Just try to get in your brush and push. See what happens. Think about the setup for the feet, the shoulder width, and the toe angles, and all of that. Okay, so let's go instructionally through playing guitar again. <clears throat> First, follow through, step up halfway with the toe, and turn the heel in just slightly. Uh -huh. Shift back, open the arms. Sounds kind of familiar. Maybe. Close the arms and set your left heel forward. Have a straight left leg, put 10% of your weight into it, and sit 90% of your weight back into that right leg. Keep the right knee out. And then it's kind of right hand by left elbow. So it's the opposite of the lift hands. That's it, release. I'm gonna shake it out. Let's do it a couple more times. <clears throat> Playing 
things are follow through, step up halfway with the toes, turn the heel in just slightly. Shift back, open the arms. Close the arms, set your left heel forward. Does anyone remember how much weight? 10%. Very good. And release. And you're like, what exactly does 10% feel like? Well, that's, <laughs> you know, it's a rough estimate of it. It feels like about 10%. We don't have scales under here to check. Okay, guitar one, or playing guitar one more time. Uh -huh. Follow through, step up. Shift back, open the arms. Close the arms, set your heel there. Uh -huh. And at the end, let, feel like the hips are sitting back, feel that idea of the pelvis tuck, and let the upper body sort of just tip forward for balance. Yeah, good, good. Okay, release, shake it out. And let's trade places. Come up to the front. And I guess, really, um, probably the best place to see it is kind of where over here, yeah. Um, because it's kind of coming at you. And you also get to see the hands. So I'll just do it. Let me know if uh, you have any questions. broken down, but it's good to have it broken down. One more time. Music next door makes us all feel a little bit. Okay, <laughs> questions, comments, suggestions, what do you see in the mood, or what's, what's lacking? I think this time around I noticed, because oh, last, the last time we went through, the forms. I was having also a hard time, like not straightening, like coming up yeah. as I was doing it. So I, I think I made more of a realization of the foot, thinking back on the foot than placing the foot. Really mm -hmm. helped me with that, and I, that's only something I just noticed. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, it's um, I, I like if you've ever seen a movie after a long time, you notice completely different things in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. I think of it like that. Like the first time through, your just attention's on totally different things, and you start to notice the details. Yeah, it's got that follow through, the body shifts back. Yeah, is that, is that what you're talking about? Very cool, thank you for sharing. Anyone else? Questions, comments, suggestions? So, um, common mistakes. Common mistakes. Um, this probably hasn't happened in here yet, but I'll see people step in too close. So halfway means just about halfway. <laughs> just, and uh, don't, don't, don't overthink it, it's just halfway to the other one. Um, Turn the heel in just gets from about 45 to about a 60 degree angle, so it's a small turn. People don't usually overturn that because it's so uncomfortable and you just won't do it again. Um, let's see what else. Uh, a common mistake is to see that I'm putting that 10% forward and then shift all the way to it. And I'm off balance. If someone pulled on my finger, oh, I'm going, I'm going. Right. So this is a defensive position. So when I put that 10% of the weight into the heel, I'm reserving. You know, I talk about the 90, I'm reserving my weight back and my hands are between me and my opponent. My hips are back. So I'm defensive position. I'm not trying to threaten you. But it helps it does help to just see there's a marshal to it. Even if you don't plan on using it that way, it'll help you understand the rules. Any questions on that? Okay, uh, I'm probably talking about it too much, so let's practice. Come on out. We'll do a little instruction, but I'll gradually take the weight per as usual. So follow through, step up halfway with the toe, turn the heel in, just a bit, shift back, open the arms. Good, close the arms, set the heel down, right hand by left hand. Oh. And release, let's do it a couple more times. Again. 
up to him. Yeah. So Mr. Mayor has a good example of. Am I pronouncing your name? Okay. So he has a good example of his. It's been a while. Sorry. <laughs> his knee is not collapsing in. He's got it out where the toe is. Mm -hmm. You do too. Good. So take this foot back just a little bit. We'll get the best shot out of it here. And then your arms are in a pretty good place too. Think of the palms as like coming together, like stretched. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good. Sorry, that's a long time to be in it. Check it out. Oh my gosh. Y'all weren't complaining or anything. Okay, I have to think of something to say to not put you in that position for a minute. So, so many good things to say about playing guitar. Oh, the original name of the movie was called Playing the Pifa. It's also one of your Nate Kung moves, if you recall. What's that? Start this unit. Oh yeah, next unit. So uh, such small print that doesn't help you at all. But there's an Akung book called Playing the Pipa. Yeah, yeah. This is the Akung book. And it's not exactly the same, it's a little deeper, a little bigger, but you can see kind of in those side views. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we just see when I was looking at it. <laughs> I was noticing how how advanced it is on it. So oh yes, well, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, Pipa, playing the guitar. Um, what else to say about it? Oh, I, I know what I'll say. So, the idea of momentum in Tai Chi. So, um, when you're going through the form, there's always, the when you're moving slowly, there's still the idea of the momentum of the body. So, <clears throat> when I'm coming forward with this brush knee push, if I stopped and then started again by picking up the foot, it would be a little different than it really is, which is, when I say follow through, it's continuous motion from the end of brush and push. Right? So this form, characteristically, there's no stops. But you need stops to learn it, or it takes a long time. But the traditional way, by the way, was not to break it down for you. It was like, you copy me for years. <laughs> and then maybe I'll answer a question if you're lucky. <laughs> no, I may be exaggerating, but, but this, this format is not the traditional way. So, um, any questions about that? All right, let's play, let's play with it a little more. And by the way, in China, they don't say work on Tai Chi or do it. They say play, play Tai Chi. In China. And the end. Yeah, right now, think of it three distinct steps. Come on, reset a couple more times. Distinct steps right now. Follow through is the first one. Make sure you don't come up, feel like you almost went down a little bit. Shift back is the second one. Open, include it. Close and set down is the third. So, again, speaking of momentum, it's got kind of a forward, back, forward. Release. Let's do it two more times. Let's go ahead and lock it in. Playing guitar, follow through one. Shift back two. I did forget a common mistake. When you follow through, don't come up. It's challenging. If anything, it's like your weight is now on one spring instead of two, so you actually might come down a little bit. Then the second one is when you shift back, watch out for leaning back. When I shift back, my hips go back, but I try not to tilt back. Does that make sense? Okay, one more time, and then we'll do something else. Promise. Begin. Uh-huh, good. Uh, open, yeah, arms relaxed, closed. And release. Okay, cool. Playing guitar. Good, good work on it. Any questions on guitar? All right.
So um, let's look at, let's go a little forward. Let's tease it forward into another brush knee push. So this is kind of uh, easier than other moves because it's a repeat. It's, you'll, um, as you'll see in the form over and over again, the, re the repeats are sometimes a little different because they're coming from a different move. So the, the steps will be different, but it's the same move in what it does. It just comes from a different place. So let's get into a playing guitar position. I'm going to do brush knee push two. <clears throat> take your, if you, it's not easy to get into already, take your right toes, turn about 60 degrees instead of 45. Shift your weight to your right leg. Set your left heel forward. Right leg bent, left leg straight. Good. Okay. So the first time we did brush knee push, the first thing we did was turn to the left, right hand by left elbow. But hey, look where we are. Right hand by left elbow. So we're just going to skip that first part. Turn to the right, left hand by right elbow. Sink down, step in. Step out to double dragons, just like before. Shift to the left. Turn to the left. Brush knee push. So right off the bat, does that make sense how it's the same brush knee push but slightly different, coming from a different move? Mm, I, don't, I guess I don't see the difference yet. Okay, no, so so the difference would be, good good, uh, good comment, so the, the difference would be when we first do it, we do a turn to get the right hand by the left elbow and then another turn to get the left hand by the right elbow, then we do the rest is the same. When we come from playing guitar, we don't need that first turn to get the right hand by the left elbow kind of already there, so we just do one turn to the right, and then the rest of the move is the same. So if you're being technical about the instruction, you would say it's a little abbreviated, but they don't think of it that way. It's just the same move, it just comes from a different one. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And if I explain things like quickly and they don't make sense, yeah, feel free to keep saying like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not making sense. That helps me to know that. All right, so let's see. Let's just come from guitar and do that one a few more times. We'll work on this more next class and put them together more concretely. <clears throat> but instructionally for now. Turn to the right, left hand by the right elbow. Sink down, step in with the left. Step out, heel toe. Shift to the left. Turn to the left. Turn the right toes in, left hand brush by the knee, right hand push up. That's it. Okay. Good, release. That two more times. I think we will. Uh, I know. Brush knee push two. Turn to the right, left hand by right elbow. Sink down, step in with the left. Step out, heel toe. Shift to the left, turn. Brush knee push. Relax shoulders, elbows. Good. One more time. In, oh, I showed you the whole brush knee push section. I remember that now. Good progress in that. So let's do this. Got a, it's almost time to bow out. Let's go from right crane spread wings and try what we have of the brush knee push section. Just moving together a few times. You know, if, if you're feeling tense from learning, kind of shake off some of that. Think that we're just moving together, breathing, relaxing until we bow out. Actually, let's leave that. That was good. You know, a good one. Okay. Any last questions, comments, suggestions before we bow out? All right. <clears throat> and we follow the five hearts faith, respect, perseverance, patience, and humility. Got a senior head instructor. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. About to advanced and beginner students. Basic training dismissed. Very good.